Model-based product line engineering enables users to create a single model that covers multiple closely related products, thereby reducing modeling costs. This capability is available from version 19.0, Service Pack 3. Key elements of model-based product line engineering include a feature model, a multivariant system model, multiple configurations, and a single variant system model. Let's start with a feature model, which describes a set of available features. Each feature has a set of positive values. The most common cases are a yes-no choice, a choice between several values. Root feature groups are comprised of features and other feature groups. Once the feature model is defined, you can create configurations. Let's review the configuration concept. For each feature in the feature model, the configuration records a choice you made. Here we can see these choices represented as slot values in UML instances, whereas here we can see a group of the recorded choices. For example, in this configuration, a heated seats option is selected. Once you define the feature model, it can be used to create a multivariant system model. A multivariant system model is a single model that covers multiple products. Wherever a model needs to be different for different products, that model place is marked with a variation point. In the diagram, variation points are marked with the letter V. To create a variation point, from the context menu, choose Variance Modeling and specify the needed kind of variation point. The most frequently used variation point kind is Existence. The Existence variation point removes model elements depending on the configuration. Other kinds of variation points provide additional possibilities. Before continuing, it is important to understand the connection between features and variation points. Each variation point must have the features it depends on specified. Let's create the existence variation point on the block named Sunroof. Now create a new feature impact relationship and select your feature. You can specify the feature in the Variation Points specification window. In our case, the Sunroof block depends on the Sunroof feature. Once you have the multivariant system model annotated with Variation Points, you can produce variant models. There are two functions, Variant Preview and Variant Realization. To preview a variant, select its configuration from the drop-down menu in the Variant toolbar. Elements highlighted in red do not belong to the selected variant. Elements in green belong to this variant. Elements in yellow are modified. Please note that this is only graphical highlighting. That is, the system model is not modified, and all magic draw mechanisms, simulation, validation, report generation, and so on, see the entire multivariant model. To change the model according to a specific configuration, you need to apply the Variant Realization Transformation. After choosing a variant configuration and completing the wizard, the transformation makes necessary changes to the multivariant system model to produce a system model for the selected variant. Elements that do not belong to the selected variant are removed, and elements that need to be changed are updated accordingly. In the example demonstrated here, the element Spoiler has been removed. And some elements, such as the multiplicity of the element door and the default value of max mass, have been modified. The engine association has been retargeted as well. Once the variant model is produced, the system model can be further analyzed using the simulation, validation, report generation, and so on capabilities of MagicDraw. For more information, please visit our website at the link below.